Today's Short Horns, I'm Kirsten Deal. And I'm Camila Chapa. And this is Short Horn News. Shorthorns. Parents, we are asking that you fill out the income survey and send it back to school as soon as possible. Sign income survey and return it to school by Friday, October 11th. Survey is due Friday, October 11th to your 7th block teacher. Bring a complete, filled out, and signed survey to the front office to, in order to receive the following incentives. One ice cream and one no homework coupon. Students, we have a winner for the first six weeks perfect attendance incentive giveaway. It is Edgar Lopez Gomez. He is the winner of a cool bike. It pays to come to school every day. Congratulations, Edgar. Congratulations to our sixth grade students of the month for September. Sarah Collins, Taylor Salinas, Celica Ruiz, Beryl Meng, Sarah Mal and Sarah Maldonado. Also, we would like to congratulate our 6th grade PBIS students of the month for September. Sarah Maldonado, Jacqueline Quiros, Camila de la Cruz, Ariela Bentecor, Joseph Garza. Once again, congratulations to our PBIS and academic students of the month for September. Congratulations to the following members of the Tomorrow's Teachers Club that participated at the 2019 Taffy Mini Conference at the SAC. Michelle Vallina, Clarissa Gomez, Lisa Gomez, Abego Cruz, Elsa Castillo, Caitlin Castro, Melanie Zebadua, Emma Arreguin, Francisco Gutierrez, and Lauro Arque III. Congratulations go out to Kate, Caitlin Castro for winning second place in the storytelling competition and to all members for winning first place in the trifle poster competition, Adventures in Teaching. Great job and very proud of all of you. Thank, Thank you, you from Mrs. Cruz. Congratulations, honorable students. You've just earned a snack for all your hard work. Check to see if you, your name is on the list. You can find lists in the cafeteria or 100 wing for eighth graders and 300 wing for seventh graders. Go see the counselors just outside the cafeteria today. Attention all members of student council. There will be a mandatory meeting on Thursday, October 10th in room 103 with Ms. Sanchez after school. Please make sure you arrive on time as we'll begin the meeting right after school. Also, your motivational posters are due as soon as possible. Popcorn money will be due on October 15th, so keep on selling. Reminder to all students that have joined our TMS book club. There will be a meeting this Thursday after school. The meeting will be held in the library with Mrs. Garcia and will begin right after school, so please be prompt. So many books, so many challenges. That's right, our first book challenge is now underway for all TMS students. To complete the challenge, you must read one fiction and two non-fiction books in order to qualify for the six weeks. Your reading and ELR teachers have the book report format you need in order to take on the challenge. Extra copies can also be found in the library. Let's get reading! Our TMS Yearbook Club would like to announce this year's Sergeant at Arms. Carolina Lopez, Victoria McHugh, Gabby Gomez, Jasmine Zamora, Ethan LeBron, Mariana Carizales, Emily Carrillo, and Ernesto Esquival. Congratulations to everyone. And also, don't forget, our Yearbook Early Bird Sale is still going on. Order your yearbook today to enjoy the low price of only $50. Attention members of the Honors Band. Today, you must report to the United High School main gym by 5.15 for the volleyball game. Make sure you're on time and remember, bring your instruments without your cases because cases are not permitted on the premises. 
Attention all Glee Club members. There is a meeting being held in room 303 this Friday from 3.30 to 5. Don't be late! Attention all UIL participants. Practices for all events have now begun. Please take note of your event and the days they practice. To arrive on time and prepared. Please talk to your UIL coaches if you cannot practice on those days. Thanks. Attention all UIL coaches. There will be a brief meeting after school on Thursday in Ms. Castillo's room. Please make sure to attend as Ms. Castillo will be relaying important information about the upcoming UIL competitions. Students, please remind your parents about attending this year's Parental Learning Summit. The summit will take place on Saturday, November 9th at United High School from 7.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. There will be free breakfast, free lunch, and lots of door prizes. Remember, if your parents attend the Learning Summit, you receive the following coupons. One drop Lowe's assignment grade, one five points to test, one no homework pass. Please return the flyer to the Counseling Center if your parents will be attending. Minor to all students, we are now following new procedures for passing time between classes in order to help clear up heavy traffic. And just like cars on the road, all students must stick to the right when exiting each hallway. Regardless of what class you have next, once you enter the rotunda of the school, you must go right. Friday detention for tardies is in full effect. So walk briskly and get to class on time. This message goes out to any 8th grader that has not yet received their Chromebook. You must speak to your data entry or college and career readiness teacher. Your CCR or data entry teacher needs to be alerted so they may contact our assistant principal, Ms. Avalos, in order to get your Chromebook issued. Thanks. October is here, and in October we would like to bring awareness to two very special causes. On every Friday of October, students will be allowed to wear pink in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Show your support by wearing pink every Friday. Reminder to all students, attendance is very important. You must be here every day because every minute counts. If you are absent, you must turn in all excuses to the attendance office. Remember, students with perfect attendance will be entered into a raffle for a prize. Reminder to everyone, do not be tardy to class. Four tardies is all it takes to earn detention on Friday after school. Dress code violations will also result in Friday after school detention. No buses are provided for detention, so you will need to have someone pick you up afterwards. Avoid the hassle, be on time. This concludes our Shohar News broadcast. We hope you have a great day. Please stick around for a few more last minute announcements coming right after your moment of horns. Say